Six Weeks in Lodgings by William Billington I've been six weeks in lodgings and six weeks too long in other folks' houses to three the monk throng and now I've been sat on and suffered beside me patience been tired to me temper's been tried and to snubs that I've ta'en I shall not take again for I've borne till I couldn't abide to the night when our caster had come into the house, she draggled and wit, he were like a drowned mouse. Well, to fire were good, but he couldn't get near, he could neither thrust him with a stool nor a chair. So, shivering at back like a dog in a sack, he said some as one shouldn't hear. Then I rose up at once, and I fought him a clout, and told him he'd better mind what he were about. Go doff that wet jacket and soil off to bed, and always be willing to do as thou med. And if I year thou roar, or a foot upon floor, I'll flee thee for what thou's just said. As soon as I'd spoken, his father come in. He last tet this coat, for I'm wet through to skin. Got out the ant lad as I've driven upstairs, but he yard if we had nigh the clock. Tables and a chairs in a cabin I'll dwell. I've a hoil to myself and be out into nobbery for theirs. Some laughed and said, Dicky, as soon as he come, there's getting well degged, but they made him no room. Snatching to pot out thumbing, then I teamed out his tay for joking and jesting when now in my way. But he took it as fun to his supper get done. Took a dry coat and a and away. I back they done Janik as far as they known, but other folks' notions are not like your own. They saying out to oblige you mean it as well. Well, at both ends of middle they serve in their cell, and I reckon it's true. If all lies were looked through, there'll be more such like stories to tell. Beside using other folks' tables and chairs. One can't speak a word but what somebody else hears, and it's always just some as nobody should know, nor a nought to do with, nor but rutchy and yo. But I've bidden so long, and I've bridled me tongue, till as brassed if I am a blow. I raise such a racket when Rutchard comes in, and I'm not so soon saddled when once I begin. When I've given him a taste of me tongue for a bit, I'll warrant in quick sticks we a notice to flit, and when I've had me wreck, I can wheel our dick and can turn him as easy as spit. He's as soft as me pocket, as soothed as a lamb, tears their sneeze and their snubs, but he's not where I am. He's felt in at times when he were out upon spray, but he's mild as a millos, a one when we may. In a crib of our own, have we sat on a stone? I can manage him, then we agree. Now Richard's a scheme, and he thinks he can mount. He'll get us some goods, and he'll see what sticks on it. At brass, he is spending in bacco and ale. He's saving it up to buy things at a sale. With some pots and a pan, a chaff bed to sleep on, I'll uphold his boo through and not fail.